Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into a brand new bottle. We are getting into Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey Bonded. All right, so today we are getting into Jack Daniels' newest offering. It is a new, brand new, bottled and bond version of Jack Daniels. So, I'm really freaking excited for this. I happen to absolutely love the Jack Daniels single barrels. I like the normal single barrels, the barrel proof, fantastic. I love the rye single barrels. I'm sure I would absolutely love the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye. Haven't tried that, no luck there. But I'm super excited for this one. This was the first bottle I drank when I came back, you know, from training, being sober for a while. So that is why it's not a brand new cork pop. I've gotten into this a little bit. You know, we're about uh, a third of the way through, but I decided, you know, it's about time we review it. So $30 bottled and bond Jack Daniels. How the heck is it? We are gonna get into this. And so an interesting thing about this is it's 700 milliliters. So it's about the equivalent of like a 32, 33, $35 bottle or typically that much. First initial impressions, initially me being sober for about two and a half, three months. Uh, and you know, just buying it, just trying it out. I was like, wow, that's just nuts and bananas. Now that it's been a while, I've gotten used to drinking whiskey again. Um, we'll see how it is. But initial impressions, I wasn't blown away. I was like, wow, it's just Jack Daniels, which again, we're working with a $30 bottle. <sighs> Should we expect anything more than that? I mean, it's 700 milliliters, you know, $30, more like a $35 bottle. But like, you know, the normal Jack Daniels single barrel doesn't blow up with my socks. So I'm not really surprised this one didn't at first, but now, how is it on the nose? Bananas. It's, I don't know. It's bananas, 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 bananas. It's bananas, caramels, graham cracker. Very, very like brown sugar sweetness. Little bit of a nuttiness, but not really. It's mostly just, it's overwhelming bananas. I don't know what else to say on the nose. A full disclosure, full disclosure. It's bananas. I, bananas. This is the most banana whiskey I've ever had in my entire life. For sure. Hands down. It's so bananas. It's like, let's dig deep. What kind of bananas is this? Like bananas caramelizing in a pan, caramelized bananas, put brown sugar on top and the brown sugar melted a little bit. Put them on banana pudding. And then you put banana wafers, those little Nilla wafers on it. So it's banana pudding, Nilla wafers with caramelized brown sugar bananas on top. I mean, long story short, it's like sugary bananas. It's so much banana. I mean, if you're a huge fan of bananas, you'll love this whiskey. If you're not, I don't think it's yours, but let's go ahead and get it on the palate. Okay, there's that nuttiness. Mm. I must say, I like the nose significantly better. So I'm a huge fan of bananas. So the bananas on the palate, even though are on the nose, even though I kept on saying bananas, 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 that's all it is. I liked it. I'm okay with a single sided whiskey, especially if it's like a budget single sided whiskey. I'm cool with that. The palate though, the palate's kind of killing it for me. It does finish very banana heavy, but the palate is super nutty.
I mean, it's still that banana, but it's very nutty. Very, very nutty. Very nutty. So it's that, it's that banana pudding and you sprinkled. So you're making that like layer, like a, what are, what are those things called? Um, oh, I'm not going to remember the word, but like those desserts where you layer like pudding and then like, like what I was saying with the bananas, it's roasted bananas or caramelized bananas, banana pudding, Nilla wafers. You're making like a stack of like desserts in a glass. I know I can visualize it, but I can't describe it to you. So it's going to be a weird one. Just go with me on this one. So you're stacking all those. That's exactly what the nose is. And then the palate, you put a layer of peanut butter, like thick, natural, organic peanut butter. And then you sprinkle even more nuts on it extra brown sugar and then a little bit more nuts it's very nutty a little bit of oak in there as well towards the end it's a little like bitter oak palette a little disappointing for me because i'm not the biggest fan of that overly nutty characteristic i don't remember it being that that nutty but it's still pretty nutty gnomes on the other hand I absolutely love it's like the perfect dessert for me perfect dessert all the way i would say it compares to like a budget brown forming product it's okay am um, so i'm getting away from doing like the whole random like a b c d categories because quite frankly what does that mean so i'm just gonna spell it out what this bottle means to me and i'll let you all decipher what that means to you. I mean, what does my opinion really mean to you? Who knows? But getting away from the normal, typical ABC grading, what are my impressions on Jack Daniels Bonded? I think it's it's solid. For a $30 bottle, you can't really go wrong, especially with the Jack Daniels name, uh, unless if you're getting like the normal, although honestly, the 40%, just the normal black label, pretty solid still. For, for a 40% ABV bottle, I could crush that. I have no qualms with that whatsoever. So with this one being 50% ABV, a little bit more, bringing a little bit more punch, a little bit nuttiness along with it. I think it's solid. It's an okay bottle. I think it's a try or not a try before you buy type whiskey, but I think it's a buy once and decide moving forward. Am I going to buy another one of these? I don't know yet, given I got still about, you know, two thirds to half of a bottle left to decide. But I think this is one of those bottles where you can risk it to try it. It's $30, you know, just buy a bottle of it if you're interested. Try it out. Definitely worth the buy. I don't know if it's worth the rebuy. Maybe we'll have to revisit that when we're towards the end. But overall, gr not great, but good bottle from Jack Daniels. I'm not impressed, but I'm also not disappointed. I think it's a solid bottle. And if you're someone who likes Jack Daniels product, I think it's definitely worth the pickup. If you're someone who hates bananas, don't even bother with any brown foreman products. Just don't do it. That's not your realm, okay? Just don't. But that's a wrap for this video. Please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this bottle. Let me know what you guys think about this review. I know things have changed. I'm back, what the heck? But that's a wrap, folks. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.